No matter who you are or what job you're in, being more persuasive will benefit you massively. Whether you're trying to convince a client to go work with you, a boss to go give you a new job, or trying to convince someone to go on a date with you, being persuasive will help your life improve in so many different ways. Which is why on this series, we're gonna be talking about all the different techniques from behavioral science that you can use to get people to say yes. This is episode one of persuasive. In this first episode on the series, we're going to be talking about the most simple advice possible for getting more people to say yes to you in life, and that is just ask. That's right, this advice is only two words long, just ask. And for me personally, this has been one of the most beneficial pieces of advice and lessons that I've learned from behavioral science in terms of improving my own life and my own career aspirations. In this video, I'm going to be covering why you should be asking for things more often, more directly, and asking for more. But first, let's start with a personal story. So I've applied this just ask principle of psychology to many different aspects of my life, and it's benefited me in so many ways that I never expected. But there's one moment in particular that sticks out in my mind when I think about this principle, because I think I recognize this as a pivotal moment in my life that has got me to where I am today. And that moment was when I asked Rory Sutherland to come speak at my student-run conference at the University of Warwick. So while I was at Warwick, I was organizing this Warwick Behavioral Insights Team uh, Summit. It was like a small conference. We didn't have any big budget. Our audience was mainly comprised of students. However, we really wanted to get a big name sort of headline speaker to come speak at our conference. And as a massive fan of Rory Sutherland, there was absolutely nobody else that I would rather have as our headliner. However, Rory is an incredibly popular speaker. He has TED Talks with millions of views. He gets asked to speak at all kinds of big organizations and companies for very large speaker fees. So it was really a very tall order to ask Rory to come speak at our conference. However, I remembered this just ask principle. And the beauty of it is that it is just so simple. No matter how unlikely you think they are to say yes to your request, it's worth just asking anyway. And so that's exactly what we did. We managed to get in touch with him via Twitter. We ended up reaching out to him and we just asked, would you like to come speak at our conference? To which he gave a resounding yes. Now that moment for me was pivotal because it was the start of a working relationship with Rory Sutherland where now I'm part of his team, which is an absolute dream come true for me. So that's my personal story about using the just ask principle. Now let's talk about why you should be asking for things more frequently. So the reason why you should be asking for things more frequently is because people are just far more generous than you're likely to give them credit for. There's a famous study from Milgram in 1978 where researchers went on the New York City subway and asked riders if they would give up their seat. A lot of the researchers, understandably, felt very uncomfortable doing this study because it is awkward to ask people for things in public, but it's because it is unusual that people are more likely to pay attention to you and therefore accept your request even if it is weird. What Milgram found in his study was that remarkably 68% of people asked if they would give up their seat ended up doing so without there being the need for any reason whatsoever. So I think what this study shows us is that people are far more generous than we give them credit for. If 68% of New Yorkers can say yes to a really generous request on the subway, then I think that bodes well for the rest of humanity saying yes to whatever your request might be. But not only should you be asking for things more often, but you should be asking for things more directly too. To illustrate that point, I want to tell you a story from Zoe Chance, who's a professor of influence at Yale University and also the author of the book Influence is Your Superpower. She writes about teaching the Just Ask principle to her students in her book, and what she says is that at the start of the class, she would hold up a $20 bill at the start and she would say to the class, this is a real $20 bill and I'm actually going to give it to one of you. This is the real money, this is the real world. All you need to do is convince me to give it to you. And after some giggling in the classroom, people will nervously put their hand up and then try and convince her to give them the $20 bill. They might say, oh, well, I'm going to buy some new books with it, or I'm going to donate it to charity, or I'm going to buy you flowers. Now, that is sort of the classic default persuasion technique that we tend to use, but it isn't very effective because what Zoe Chance would do is that she would hold onto the $20 bill until they said, so, are you gonna give me the money? A lot of the time when we're trying to persuade someone to do something, we fail to do the most important step, which is actually ask them for the thing that we want. We get so caught up in the idea of convincing people that we fail to actually make that convincing actionable. So if you wanna convince more people to say yes to you, not only should you be asking for things and trying to persuade them, but make sure you actually make that request actionable by actually asking for the thing. And the last point that I wanna make is that you should be asking for more. 
And here's why. Robert Cialdini, the author of Influence, Psychology of Persuasion, had a very famous study called the Juvenile Delinquents at the Zoo Study. Now in this study, researchers asked passers-by if they were willing to chaperone juvenile delinquents to the zoo on a two-hour trip. Now this is obviously quite a big ask. Not only is it two hours of your time spent with a bunch of strangers, but those strangers are juvenile delinquents as well. Yet what Cialdini found remarkably was that despite this being quite an outrageous request, 17% of people said yes to this request, right there on the spot. Which again just shows you how generous people will be to your requests, even when the request is pretty outrageous. But the really interesting thing about this study from Cialdini was that he ended up taking the outrageous factor all the way up to 10, because in a second condition, before people were asked if they would chaperone juvenile delinquents to the zoo, they were first asked, will you volunteer two hours of your time every single week for at least two years to look after these juvenile delinquents? This request is absolutely absurd, and of course, 100% of people said no to this request. However, when this absolutely insane request was followed up with the previous request of, well, can you spend two hours chaperoning them to the zoo? Now passers-by were three times more likely to say yes to that request than before they were asked the outrageous request. So what that shows us is that by asking an absolutely insane request, you anchor people on a much higher point and therefore feel like the less big request is a concession when in reality it's still a very large request. And so as somebody who's trying to apply this just ask principle in their everyday life, it actually really pays to ask for way more than you ever expect people to accept because then when you ask for something smaller as a concession, it feels like a better deal for both parties. And the other reason why you should always ask for more than you expect people to say yes to is because sometimes they will actually say yes. Take a look at this clip from Shaquille O'Neal on Jimmy Kimmel. In this clip, Shaquille O'Neal is explaining how he is a very generous tipper, and when he goes to a restaurant, he'll ask waiters who serve him, how much do you want in tips? Now, most people ask for pretty reasonable amounts, but he said in this clip that one girl once asked him for $4,000 in tips, and he said yes. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. I think that the just ask principle of persuasion is one of the most powerful principles of social psychology, yet it is so simple. So if you enjoyed today's video, then can I please ask that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, because we're approaching 10,000 subscribers and we're gonna go for a crazy video when we reach it. So thank you guys so much for all your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.